Hi everyone, Kylie here and welcome to my plan with me for December. So I'm going to start with an obligatory question. How is it the end of the year already? Where did the last couple of months go? Um, not that I can say I'm disappointed that 2023 is coming to an end because quite frankly, there's been quite a few low lights in here. There have been some highlights, but woof. <sighs> Not that I think the world changes when we hit the 31st of December anyway, but yeah, um, I'm a little bit over it, but it has gone very rapidly. Let's get on to my theme for December though. It's a bit of summer and a bit of Christmas. Remembering, of course, that I am in Australia. Yes, if you did not guess where this accent is from, that's very much where it's from. So we are starting our summer months now. Uh, I've pretty much do Christmas and summer for my December theme the majority of the time though if I am theming it. So this isn't unusual. I'm using a new watercolour set that I've recently bought. It's another primer set called Pastel Dreams and it certainly lives up to the label on the tin. It seems like a perfect set for summer but it doesn't really work for Christmas. So I've gone back to one of the old faithful primer sets decadent pies to use for the Christmas elements in the layout. I've also been thinking a bit about what my 2024 bullet journal themes might be or whether I should switch up the style of doing this entirely. So I'm having a bit of a thought at the moment about whether I change my drawing style, whether I change to a bit more of a mixed media, whether I change the sort of, you know, uh, drawing tools that I use for this or what I'll do. But I definitely need to make some changes for 2024 to keep me interested in doing this. And it is important for me to keep interested in this because it is a very successful way for me to keep a diary and a journal. I've never been able to successfully keep anything past April, May in the past, and I've now bullet journaled for a couple of years uh, fairly religiously. So, you know, it's it's been going pretty well, so I'll definitely keep it. Um, I'm definitely, you know, not going to stop doing these videos. I enjoy doing that, but I need a bit of a change. I need some novelty to keep my neurodivergent brain in check. So, yeah. But I hope you've all had a really nice November and that life is treating you well. Uh, mine has continued to be a little slow with client work, but I've done. I've been doing a few proposals of late, so hopefully in the new year that's going to pick up a bit. It's given me a bit of time to think about the direction of my business and what else I might be able to create in the world. So I'm going to sp be spending a bit of time over sort of the Christmas New Year break into January, just redoing a bit of my business planning and thinking of the options and what I might do. So that's always a bit of fun for me as well. Now, lyrics for December are the Christmas classic Last Christmas by Wham. Last Christmas I gave you my heart, come on, you know what it is, but the very next day you gave it away. This year to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Given that I was a teenager in the 80s, I love Wham and I love this song, although I, I will say it has been grossly overplayed uh, over the years. And since I recently watched the Wham documentary on Netflix, well worth it for anyone who loves their music. Even if you didn't uh, it, and you just like music in general, it's really very fascinating. So I would highly encourage you to go and watch it. Uh, but this was definitely a given for the song that I would choose for uh, my final set of lyrics after watching that. Uh, the one thing that I will say is if you are going to do a Christmas scene, don't go for a sepia tone, particularly if you're going for the sort of wintry look. I should have used blue here. Blue would have been a lot more logical. I realised that part way through doing this and, yeah, regrets. Anyway, we live and learn. So I'm sticking with this same sort of boxy layout that I've been using. It's been working well and is actually quite good for times like these when I have a couple of days I have to add into a week in the month changeover. Um... Yeah, it works really quite well. It gives me a lot of flexibility. So I took out the notes to allow me to still have space to add some nice little summary elements into this layout. 
some really simple to draw bits, but they put a lot of pop of colour onto the page. And again, they're really giving me 80s vibes. Uh, so I don't know whether it's just the pastel colour palette. I don't know whether it's because I've watched the Wham! documentary. I don't know whether it's because we watched Muriel's Wedding the other week. I know that's the 90s, but it has a very 80s vibe to it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm getting very 80s nostalgic, sort of going through and doing this month and everything. So that's always a little bit fascinating when you go through and do that. But, yeah, it's just this layout doesn't ask too much of the elements and actually wants me to keep them quite simple, which is quite interesting. And this page may be even more so because um, I've just got the two little motifs in here of this little sort of beachy scene and then just summer written in a sun. And I don't know why, but as I was colouring them in, I sort of got this real 1980s compilation album cover vibe. <laughs> So that might have added to my nostalgia as I was going through and doing it as well. Anyway, I recently did my first market for a number of years uh, and it went okay. I didn't sell any of the desk calendars that I had designed, which is a bit disappointing because I'm really happy with them and I want other people to love them too. But I do have, have another market in December, so hopefully I can sell some of them then. Uh, and yeah, I've also been doing some creating of like button badges and those sorts of things to uh, sell at the markets as well, which has been just, they're just really fun little discreet pieces of work that I can, I can sort of put together. But what it's been doing is um, challenging my brain a little bit to actually think of when I create things, how can I reuse them in other ways? Because I often like draw things up and create them and then they just go off into the ether and I never think about how they might be able to evolve and develop. And I think I need to be doing more of that. Uh, I've definitely done that with a desk calendar, but I definitely should be doing it with more of the things that I create. So that'll be an interesting thing for me to explore in the new year as well. Okay, so now we're getting some of the Christmas elements in. I think this is why I enjoy this layout so much because the drawings are a lot more contained than the other layouts that I've used. This allows me to keep it all a little bit simpler than some of the designs I've been doing in previous journals, which is nice because it doesn't take as much time to do, but I don't know, I might get a little bit bored with it. Um, I could always change this up by moving that weekend over to the right hand side so that that gap in the middle becomes larger so I can do a larger pattern or a larger sort of drawing in there uh, but at the moment I quite like having that that limitation and who knows how I might be able to use that for the new year for how I'm thinking about maybe making some changes it's always interesting to know I'll be of course, back at the end of December with my January layout, but that will also include going back and doing the first couple of pages that I didn't do when I set up this new journal in October. Uh, that is my three words, my goals, and also um, a quotes page uh, that for the last one I did was all about creativity. I'm not quite sure what the theme's going to be this time. So, yeah, I'll be doing those as part of the January uh, layout as well. But then it wouldn't be Christmas uh, or, or a Christmas theme if I didn't have a Christmas tree with some presents under it. So here we are. Um, and, again, keeping these designs really simple uh, is just – it's sort of what the layout wants – I know that sounds really weird, but that's how I think of it. And I have to say, the little angel that I draw on this on top of this tree, when I draw things, and often like if I'm doing really big graphic capture and everything, I often draw one tiny little element that I actually, I just love. I adore it. It's like, oh my God, that's just so cute. And for me, the angel was this. Uh, I just really enjoyed how cute that's come out, which is nice. Um, so yeah. <laughs> 
And then over on the right-hand side, we've got a little bit of a very simple New Year's celebration to uh, welcome in 2024. Yeah, this year's just flown by. I don't know. Anyway. Um, And the last page that we have for December is the reflection page. Now, if you want a fun way of lettering, uh, which is really simple and effective, I know that I've done this before in videos, but I don't think I've really spoken about it. All you do is get a thick marker or a brush marker, write the heading, and then simply trace around it with a fine liner. For me, extra points if there are white gaps in the tracing or even if the color goes outside the lines. I just find it really simple. And if you want to do a block heading, way easier than you trying to actually just freehand the letters. Just a really simple little tip if you haven't noticed me doing it before. Um, And because this page delineates the change of year in this journal, I decided to do a 2024 title at the end of December rather than do it in January. I've been drawing these flowers for a couple of things lately and I've really been enjoying them so I thought I'd include them here. And they do have a lot more detail than some of the things that I, well, a lot of the things that I draw in here. And I don't know, maybe that's the change that I'll make in 2024 that I'll include a lot more detail in drawings, who knows. But when I got to this point, I was just like, I don't feel like painting them properly. So I've just done these spots of colour uh, to highlight the flowers, which I sort of quite liked as well because it's a bit unstructured when they're so structured. Anyway, here is my layout for December. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a lovely December and if you celebrate any particular holidays that they're very enjoyable for you. I'll have a new video in January and I hope to see you then. Bye.